evaluation, real simple. Who controlled you this week? Who was in charge of you? Well, I was, coach. What do you mean? Well, real simple now. Let's think about this. Did you write down goals every day? And did you do them? If you said yes, then I agree completely. You were in control of you. Now, if you said, no, I didn't get those done. It was, uh, it rained this week. Or I can't get those done in Idabel. Or I, you know how my parents are. Or you know how my boss is. Or it's somebody else's fault. Well, when, when you write down why you didn't get something done, don't ever use somebody else as a scapegoat. See, there's an old, there's an old saying that, uh, and I can't quote it for you, I probably should have looked it up. God give me the wisdom to know the difference between the things I can change and the things I can't change. Well, let me help you with that. You know what you can change? You, you know what you can't change? Other people. Simple as it can be. I mean, you don't need to go any further, go into depth and say, boy, this is profound. Nothing profound about it. You're in charge of you. Oh, maybe not. If you wrote those goals down and you didn't do them and you want to blame somebody else, then you're not in charge of you. Goal setting is so you can control you. You'll be the boss of you. Now we talked about being decisive this week. What did you learn? What I hope you learned, patience, consequences, and logic. <laughs> those are three of the biggest things. You know, Henry Ford was patient with those guys. And then he realized the consequences, he wasn't going to get it done. And his logic was, we're going to build a V8. The personalities, those three personalities we just talked about. The farmers that moved, they lacked patience. They didn't think about the consequences. They made a decision not based on logic or consequences, those are the things that you do. If you learned patience, consequences, and logic, now you become decisive. So when something comes up in my life and I have to make a decision, don't make a decision until I have to. Make sure I know what the consequences are. and then make the decision based on all those circumstances. That's what you should have learned this week in Decisive. And when you learn all those, it makes you Decisive, which makes you the best you that you can be.